hey, if you always wanted to, you know, through your camera feed, just have your slides kind of there, especially if they're highly visual, well, you can do it with OBS, but I'm gonna show you how. Alrighty, so let's get started. The first thing that I needed to do to be able to get OBS to capture it was I needed a device. So what I'm gonna do here is show you how you can just create the device that captures PowerPoint. The first thing we need is a window capture. Window capture is gonna be able to lock to an app. So I'm gonna create a new one that's gonna be specifically for capturing my over-the-shoulder PPTX. Once I've got this created, by default, it's looking for a running app. I've already got PowerPoint running, so that's awesome. It's all good. If not, I'd have to select that window. But it's not showing me the PowerPoint. It's showing me OBS. So I have to change the capture method. By using the Windows graphics capture, there we go. Now my full screen PowerPoint is piping through from presentation mode. Awesome. So I've got what I need, but it's taken up the whole screen. Like I said, I wanted to have an over the shoulder. So I'm gonna squeeze this down, get it a little bit smaller. This device right now, you'll see there's no camera showing through because I don't have a camera device on this yet. So right now I'm just setting up the location. I'm gonna put this over the shoulder up and this is gonna show up right over top of my camera once I get the camera set up. This is about the size that I think is readable through a camera feed. This can probably work. All right, so the next thing I need to make sure I can do is to add that video source. So I've already set up my camera. I'm just gonna add my video capture device here. I've got an existing one, all set up, tied to my camera. Now it's added. Now let's see what that looks like. All right, so now we're looking at my camera feed through OBS. Where's my PowerPoint? Well, what I forgot to do was get the order right. By putting the, them in the order of PowerPoint and then video camera, what happened was my PowerPoint is now being hidden by the camera source. So I'm just gonna reorder that very quickly. Let's get that up here. Hey, there we go. Not really an over the shoulder, more of an over the face. So why don't we fix that up? I could, nah, that's not gonna be comfortable. All right, over here. Here we go. Okay, there we go. I've got PowerPoint currently in presenter mode so I can look at my notes, but I'm only capturing the presentation screen. Uh, and this is coming through my camera feed, so I could do this on Zoom or Teams or whatever. Uh, don't even have to share desktop. It's embedded right in with my camera, which means I can, you know, do more things physically during the call. Feels a little more live, like I'm in front of an audience. Uh, anyways, I hope this helped.